today I just want to do a quick video. I know there's, at least for myself, there's days when fitting in a full practice is a challenge. So uh, one of my teachers used to always say, better to do a little bit of yoga a lot <laughs> than a lot of yoga a little bit. So I'm going to take you through some sun salutations, um, a few different variations. But general rule, if you can do three to five sun A's, three to five sun B's, um, first thing in the morning is a great time if you can work it in. But just en enough movement to get your body a little warmer to take you into the day um, energetically with a better, I was going to call it a mindset, right? So energetically a better mindset. So let's start in child's pose. Let's come on to your knees. You know, even though we're just going to do sun A's and B's, you want to give yourself a chance to arrive in your body. See how you're feeling today. Kind of get a sense of where you might be at energetically. And so sometimes we, we practice in order to bring about a shift in the energy. Um, sometimes we're practicing and honoring the energy. So it just really depends on the day and the feeling that you're getting from your body. So give yourself a chance. Connect with your breathing. If you want to walk your hands over to the right, take a side body stretch from here in child's pose. If you're seated, you could just reach over to the right. Maybe bring the left hand to the floor. Two or three breaths and you'll take it over to the other side. To, if you wanted to move through um, cat cow or any other kind of warm up, you can do that. Remembering that sun salutations are designed to warm the body. So if you want to dive right into sun salutations, that's an option as well. So I'm going to come into down dog. I might take a couple of stretches from here and then I think we'll be ready to flow a little bit. So Pedaling the feet, shifting the hips out. You know, everyone has their down dog ritual, so you find yours. And again, I'm just sort of taking in the feedback I'm getting from my body in terms of where I feel energy flowing, where I might feel a little resistance. I haven't, well, I went for a walk. I was going to say I haven't moved much today. I haven't stretched much today. How's that? I did go for a walk earlier, so... I can feel that already a little bit in my hamstring. And it's just like that, you know, it's, it sort of has a diagnostic quality, this practice. Particularly if you're practicing regularly, you really get a sense of how your body's feeling. All right, so take a deep breath in and empty that out. So Ujjayi, if you practice Ujjayi breathing. Take at least three breaths. So one more inhale. Empty. Get lighter. Look forward. You can step or hop up. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale for fold. Inhale, rise and reach to mountain. Exhale, fold right back down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. So it's a modified A, guys. This inhale will bring us back up to stand. And this time on the exhale, take a side bend to the right. And catch a wrist or drop an arm. And then you're going to inhale back through center. And take a side bend to the left. Back through the middle, fill up. And then exhale, fold down. Halfway lift. Plant your hands and step back. So modified, we don't do the chaturanga. If you want to add the chaturanga in, traditional, or you can drop the knees, right? So you can take a breath here, exhale to lower halfway, inhale, press up, exhale back to down dog, or you can inhale forward, traditional, exhale, lower halfway, inhale, heart lifts, exhale, hips high. So that's kind of it for the tutorial on A. Now I'm just going to move through. Uh, let's do three. Let's do three from here. So. You can move through any variation you want. I'm going to just do a traditional flow here. So take a breath in. Let your body get empty. Look forward and step or float your feet. Inhale halfway. 
Exhale, fold. Rise to mountain. Press your feet. Fold forward. Halfway lift, inhaling. High to low push up, exhaling. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Take three breaths here, so a little break in, in between. Finding the pause at the top and the pause at the bottom of the exhale. One more breath in. Get ready as you empty out. Step or foot. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Rise and reach. Fold back down. Halfway lift. Inhale. Plant your hands and take it back for high to low. Up dog. Back to downward dog. This last one, all I'm going to do is cue the breath, guys. So you move your rhythm, your pace. Remember, the breath is the foundation of the practice. One more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So that's our sun A. And you can just check in right here in Dan Dog, hopefully feeling a little warmer. I can definitely feel the difference just moving through those two. We're going to do sun B now. Um, we've already uh, gone through the variations on Chaturanga, so I won't go through those again. The only difference here is we're going to add in a chair pose and um, warrior one on each side. So take a full breath in. Allow the body to empty. Look forward, step or float. Halfway. Exhale and fold. Come all the way up, let the stretch feel good. And then sink to chair. So you're just gonna bend your knees and let your hips sink back. Heavy in the heels here, light in the toes. You can keep your arms extended. I always take mine a little wider, usually pinkies in, thumbs out. You can bring hands to heart center. I'm Because I'm talking, I'm taking a little bit of the effort out by bringing my hands here. Feeling the pose from the soles of your feet all the way to the top of your head. So inhaling to lengthen. Exhale, stay. We'll take one more breath in. And then forward fold. Half a lift. High low push up. Up dog. Downward facing dog, exhaling. Right foot steps on end, empty. You're going to inhale to warrior one. And this first one, we'll hold it just for a couple of breaths. So let the pose land in your body. Let your breath land in the pose. No rush. We'll do three more after this and we're just going to um, do one breath, one movement, so it'll be faster. So this is traditional, guys. The next exhale would take me right back down to Chaturanga. If you want to throw in a variation, we will very often inhale up to Warrior One. Exhale to Warrior Two. Inhale to reverse your Warrior. And then exhale, Chaturanga. So you can do that variation if you'd like. We'll take one more breath here, and then low push up. Up dog, downward facing dog, left side, inhale to warrior one. Same thing, we're just, I would suggest this, even in your regular practice, very rarely do I Dive right into one breath, one movement. It's certainly not out of the question. I like to ease in. <laughs> one of our teachers, right? The way you do anything is the way you do everything. I tend to ease into most things. So you listen to your body, your breath, your energy on a given day. 
So you can stay right here or you can take another breath in. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale to reverse it. And then exhale chaturanga. So you can see how that flows on this side. Up and all the way back. So I'm going to do three. And I'm going to throw in the variation because I like the way it feels. It gives me a little extra opening. Right? So now that we've moved on to sun B, we're definitely bringing the hips into it a bit. Stay here for one more breath in. Get empty and light. Look forward and step or float. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Mountain pose. Come all the way up. Chair pose. Sink low. One inhale. Forward fold. Halfway. High to low push up. Up. And back to down dog. Right side. Warrior one. Breathe your way up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, chaturanga. Up. Back. Left side. Warrior one, inhale up. Warrior two, breathe out. Reverse your warrior. Low plank. So for me to talk through the postures is a little bit of a challenge. I'm sure you can hear in my breath. Take those three breaths in between. Letting things slow down a little, but also just allowing the posture and the breath to sink into your body. We'll take one more inhale. Get all the way empty. Look forward and step or float. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, chair. Breath in. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse it. Low push up. Up. And back. Left side steps. Warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse. Chaturanga. Upward facing. To downward facing dog. So these are definitely more active. You should feel your heart rate coming up, but hopefully too getting a little warmer in the body, right? Feeling a little more space, a little less resistance. I can tell you, morning yoga, <laughs> morning body is very different than practicing in the afternoon or evening. And the fact that I did go for a walk has probably already opened me up. We'll have to, I'll have to get in here one day at 6 a.m. so you guys can hear me moan and groan. Take one more breath in. Good, get empty and light. Take it forward, inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. Mountain. Chair, go nice and deep. Full breath in. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Upward, back to downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Low push up. Up and back. Left side. Warrior one, breathe up. Warrior two, open. Reverse it. Chaturanga. Up 
upward facing dog. Back to downward facing dog. <laughs> you may find that if you manage to get yourself on your mat and to do three to five sun A's and sun B's, you might find that you're now energetically in a place where you would want to add more in, more postures, more flow. So that's entirely up to you. This could be it. This is like a whole different body than I had a few minutes ago. <laughs> um, but I do feel good and warm. I'm tempted to, to come into some different postures. So just listen to your body, your breath, your schedule, right? But this is great. If you, if you don't have time for anything else, try to work in those three A's and three B's every single day, if possible. And I will post some more flows that we can do together.